Hmm. Zap? Let's see what you've got. Whoa! What's happening? Wings? No way! This is unreal. Everyone's staring. Let's try these out. Here goes nothing. Woohoo! I'm flying! This is incredible. The whole city looks so tiny from up here. All right, let's grab that ring. Boom! Nailed it. Sky's the limit with Zap. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to create a TV commercial. And for that, we're going to use the ultimate text-to-video prompt generator. Let's get started. First, I'm going to click on Create a New Film. Then the options will appear. In this case, I'm going to select Animation. But I'll specify that I want to make a short film for TV about a person who drinks an energy drink, grows wings, and starts to fly. I'll choose the 3D cartoon style for the animation. Here, ChatGPT will give me 10 titles to choose from. I'm going to choose one titled Sky's the Limit and name the drink Zap, just as a placeholder name. Then it will write the character description for me. Afterward, it will create three scenes, each with a name and a specified duration in seconds. It will start describing the first scene. Then it asks me if I want to continue creating the prompts for each scene, and I say, yes. It begins writing the first prompt, specifying camera movements, which we'll use later when we convert image to video. The style would be 3D cartoon. I continue generating all the prompts for the scenes, first for scene one, then scene two. Now I'm going to show you how they turned out. I'm using a website called blinkshot.io, where I generate images using tools like Flux, which quickly create all the scenes for me. In the first scene, as you can see, the character is walking. Then it zooms in as they drink their energy drink and wings sprout. Next, there's a shot from behind, followed by one where they're about to fly. Finally, they are in the air, passing the clouds. As you can see, the character pretty consistent. After that, I'm going to Minimax to try to create the animation. Here, I was trying to use text to video for the first scene. The second scene shows them drinking the drink. And in the third scene, their wings emerge. The following scenes will likely show them flying. Again, I didn't make many changes to the prompts and the results are quite good. Now I'm going to try it with an image I uploaded. For example, I'm going to use image to video for the part where the wings come out. I'll find the prompt I used. I think it's this one. Although I might make some adjustments, let's see what results we get. This process will take a while. Maybe I'll add another image to test it out. For example, the shot from behind. I think we already did this one, but we might try the same prompt again. Since I have the unlimited plan, I can generate five versions simultaneously. The next one involves the clouds. I'll copy everything and test it to show how it works when I copy everything. Once again, I'll download the image, upload it here, and wait until all five videos are processed. In the meantime, I'll generate the next scenes. For this, I simply click Next. The platform asks if I want to go to Next Scene. I'll copy everything as it is and input it into Blinkshot.io. It's already in a different location, so I'll download it and continue. You can also tweak the prompts by adding unique elements or requesting changes. For example, I could tell it, add something different, and chat GPT will adapt the output. The ultimate text-to-video prompt generator is very flexible in this sense. The consistency of the character design is impressive. Now let's move on to the final part. The last scene is ready. Let's see how it ends.
In the videos, as you can see, the progression is smooth. First, the character prepares to fly, then takes off into the sky. In one scene, they soar over a city. While the prompts can sometimes be reused, tweaking them slightly often results in a fresh outcome. Images generated here could benefit from higher resolution for better animation quality. I recommend using tools like Kraya AI or Kling AI for improved visuals. These tools also allow you to generate images with better resolution and consistency. Another feature is creating personalized characters. For example, you can generate facial features or unique animations directly in Kling. While testing, I encountered some issues, such as odd facial outputs, but these can be refined with trial and error. Comparing results, it's clear the animation quality has improved significantly. Now I've finished the videos, including all shots. I'll proceed to add dialogue. I asked ChatGPT to write dialogue with specific emotions and tones for each scene. This way, the emotions align with the visuals. Next, I use a site called Focal ML to add audio. I register, create a project, and input my text. It lets me generate speech and advanced audio output. I paste the dialogue with emotions, and it generates a voiceover. I'll export these audios and integrate them into the video. For example, wow, what's happening, was one of the lines I used. After exporting the video, I upload it to CapCut. I adjust the synchronization of text, audio and video to ensure everything aligns perfectly. The current version has some mismatches, such as too much video and too little text, but these can be edited. In conclusion, the process is fantastic. Remember, we also have a YouTube channel where we upload tutorials every three days covering various topics. Additionally, we have a Patreon page where you can access free memberships, download prompts, and explore exclusive content. You can also purchase custom GPTs and other products in our online store, with links available in the comments. That's all for today. Thanks for following along and see you on YouTube. Bye-bye.